Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide comes from a workshop that I recently did at a corporate organization. And it's today's slide is all about explaining the components of a difference. Let's look at the slide. So here's their slide and what they're trying to do is they're trying to explain the difference between the budget for the previous year, 2009, the budget for the upcoming year, 2010. And there are three major components that contribute to the difference, the overall difference. And they have used a table and this is very typical. It might have come from Excel or copy the numbers from Excel because that's typically where we're doing financial calculations. And we can see there are three components, salaries, which actually would have raised the budget. But there are two components, raw material costs and assembled parts costs that reduce the budget. And so the total difference is uh, a reduction of $17.6 million. Now, when we just throw up numbers like this, it becomes very hard for people to really grasp the type of message that we want to get across. So what I did is I redid this slide and let me show you the after slide. So let's talk about the change in our budget from 2009, a current year, to next year, 2010. And all of these figures are in millions of dollars. So there's three components that we want to talk about. There are the salaries, the raw material costs, and the assembled parts costs. When we look at salaries, the salaries would cause our budget to increase by $7.4 million because uh, costs are going up in the area of, of salaries, as we all know. But our raw material costs are going to be reduced by $13.3 million due to commodity prices that have come down in the areas that we need. And our assembled parts costs are also going to be reduced by $11.7 million because our efficiencies have grown at our purchasing level and in our suppliers. And so they're able to reduce our costs. So in total, our budget for next year is $17.6 million less than it is this year. So when we look at this visual, what I've done is uh, I have shown the audience how the components all come together to come up with this total difference. And as, as a graph, we can see that some goes up, some goes down, and we build it one by one. It gives the clear indication how this comes together to be the total difference. And by one by one, again, when we build it, we have an opportunity to discuss each of those individually, as opposed to people trying to read ahead or looking at other numbers if we put it all on the screen at the same time. So before we get to the lessons that we can all learn uh, as presenters about this type of a visual, this again comes from one of my workshops. If you want to learn more about the workshops or the other work that I do in consulting or other resources, go to my website, thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Of course, the book is available at the website, visualslidevolution.com. So what are the lessons that we as presenters can learn when explaining the components of a difference? First of all, make sure that all the numbers really add up. Now, one of the things you didn't see here because I modified it from the slide that they sent, but there was actually rounding issues in the numbers. When you added the numbers up, they didn't total to the total number because there was rounding in there. And this is typical, again, what happens when you pull it from Excel. So make sure that the numbers you use actually add up. And then use the type of, of visual that I use, which is a stacked column chart. And that stacked column chart allows you to show the differences individually broken out. And the thing with a stacked column chart is when you start to do these things, you'll realize that the vertical axis that by default PowerPoint uses usually isn't going to work for you. You're going to have to manually adjust it, go into the settings and set where you want the top and the bottom end of that vertical axis to be. Just know that that's likely something you're going to have to do with this sort of a stacked column chart. And of course, as we saw, I built the chart one by one. Why? So that you can explain each component of the difference. In this case, it was what contributed to a budget difference, but it could be a number of other things. By building the graph one column by one column, you give your audience the opportunity to understand what you're talking about, get it, and then you can move on. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.